Glory to Jesus Christ. Very pleased to be here with two distinguished priests from Slovakia and our own Slovak priest, distinguished as he is, of course, by Father Stefan Kerokometz and Father Jan Chishmar. And certainly pleased always to be with our special parishioners here at St. Nicholas. This feast of the protection of the Mother of God, one of the petitions that the deacon prays is protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us. Save us, save us. Yes, Lord, you must save us. Save us from ourselves, from our sinfulness. Save us because we are sinners. Preserve us. Keep us going. But protect us. Protect us. From what? St. Paul says, if God is with us, what can be against us? Well, we know that there is. There is a force of evil in the world and in our own lives. We do need to be protected. I was talking to the Metropolitan today who will be going to the Synod of Bishops for the, uh, the International Synod of Bishops in Rome for the uh, uh, family, to talk about family. There will be bishops from all over the world and I said, gee, you know, I really don't like to fly anymore. You just never know what kind of terrorists are going to be there. And I thought, yes, protect me. Protect me from these terrorists. And he says, well, what scares me more is that I'll be in this plane with people from all over the world. And they come with their viruses and their germs. And they've built up an immunity to these. But we haven't. And then we will go and sit in small rooms with bishops from all over the world in a similar situation. And many of us end up with coughs and sneezes and other issues. He says it's the things you can't see from which we need protection. And how true that is. But it's even more. It is that evil that we don't know, that we can't see and even imagine. I mean, you can probably imagine a, a germ under a microscope. You might have seen a picture of one. But evil. So difficult. And yet, that is probably the thing we need to be protected against more than anything. The icon of the protection of the Mother of God is different than any other icon of Mary, except perhaps the Annunciation or other incidents of her life. But a, a simple portrait, they're always holding Jesus. Because her life was only understood in the light of Jesus. But here in this icon, she holds out a cloth. A cloth of protection. And that cloth of protection is not something to wrap us up. But it is, in fact, a symbol of Jesus himself, just like any other icon of Mary in portraiture. She is seen with that power. After the death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus, we know that the next step was the descent of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came upon the church. 
and he came upon you and me in our baptism and chrismation. And it is there that the protection comes. It's not from outside, but from within. And yes, Mary, the symbol of the church, has Jesus within her, shares Jesus with the world because he is the protection. And when she holds out this cloth, she is telling you and me that the Holy Spirit will protect us. He, the Holy Spirit will give us the power from within. In the gospel, we heard the story of Martha and Mary. Martha wanted to do everything right. And all Mary wanted to do was sit. Well, not exactly. She wanted to come close and experience the presence of Jesus. And Jesus says, that's what you really need. You need not to worry about doing everything. That's not where the protection comes. That's not where your life will come from what you do, but from what I do. God has saved us, and he asks us now to accept that salvation through the church as it comes to us through the power of the Holy Spirit, through Mary. And so, yes, we turn to Mary. We ask her, please protect us in our tropar. Give us that protection. Give us Jesus. Give us the Holy Spirit. And we know that we will be protected and that we will be strong, not because of what we do, but because of what we do in collaboration with God. This Saturday and Sunday we'll be meeting to talk about our church here in upper central United States the eparchy of Parma. And we'll be asking the question, Lord, what do you want us to do so that you may extend your salvation to all the people? What do you, how do you want us to cooperate with you? And we know that it will be primarily by becoming strong Christians, by allowing the Holy Spirit to come within us, to give us the power to know what vocation we might have. By returning to the sacraments, those touch points of the divine and the human, and by strengthening our parishes. The Lord wants us to be protected. He wants us to be strong individually and also as a church because the world needs the church and the church needs you. Glory to Jesus Christ.